हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand frequency translation, which is also known as mixing or heterodyning. In communication system, it is necessary to translate the modulated wave S of t frequency upward or downward so that it can occupy. new frequency bands if fc is the frequency of modulated wave s of t then frequency translator changes the modulated wave frequency fc to either fc plus fl or fc minus fl if the frequency is changed to fc plus fl it is known as upward translation and if frequency changes to fc minus fl it is known as downward translation so in communication system it is necessary to translate the modulated wave s of t frequency upward or downward so that it can occupy a new frequency band so the frequency of s of t will be shifted to a new frequency so that it can occupy the new frequency bands so either the frequency can be shifted upwards or downwards if fc is the frequency of modulated wave s of t then the frequency translator will changes the frequency fc to either fc plus fl or fc minus fl if frequency changes to fc plus fl we call such type of translation as upward translation and if frequency changes to fc minus fl we call such type of translation as downward translation the frequency translation can be achieved using frequency multiplier or product modulator which is followed by a bandpass filter as shown in this figure so here the dsbs signal or modulated signal is passed through a mixer to obtain the frequency translation the mixer consists of product modulator and a bandpass filter the product modulator will multiply dsbs signal along with a carrier signal that is produced by a local oscillator to produce the signal v1 of t this v1 of t is passed through a bandpass filter to obtain the signal v2 of t which is a frequency translated signal if we consider dsbs signal we can write dsbs signal as s of t is equal to ac m of t cos 2 pi fc t let us take this as equation number 1 if we take fourier transform of equation 1 we will get s of f is equal to ac by 2 m of f minus fc plus m of f plus fc let us call this as equation number 2 now let us take case 1 which is downward translation to lower frequencies so which means fc will be translated to a new frequency which is f not that will be equal to fc minus fl now the output of product modulator is v1 of t that can be given as s of t multiplied with this carrier signal so s of t can be written as ac m of t cos 2 pi fc t so s of t we can write it as ac m of t cos 2 pi fc t 
multiplied with cos 2 pi FLT. So here we can use cos A minus B formula and we can write the above equation as V1 of T is equal to AC M of T divided by 2 cos 2 pi FC minus FL plus AC M of T divided by 2 cos 2 pi FC plus FLT. If we take Fourier transform on both sides of the equation, we will get V1 of F is equal to AC by 4 into M of F minus FC minus FL plus M of F plus FC minus FL plus AC by 4 M of F minus FC plus FL plus M of F plus FC plus FL. Let us take this as equation number 4. So this is the expression for V1 of F that is the output of product modulator. Now V1 of F is passed through band pass filter with center frequency F0 is equal to FC minus FL and bandwidth is equal to 2W. Therefore, we will get V2 of T is equal to AC by 2 M of T cos 2 pi FC minus FL T. So here V1 of T is passed through a band pass filter with center frequency FC minus FL. So which means the band pass filter will allow the signal which is having the frequencies FC minus FL and other frequencies will not be passed through a band pass filter. That's why for V1 of T we are having this equation. So with two frequencies here FC minus FL and FC plus FL. So only this part of the signal will be passed and this signal will not be passed through a band pass filter. That's why we obtain V2 of T is equal to AC M of T by 2 cos 2 pi FC minus FL T. We can write above equation as V2 of T is equal to AC by 2 M of T cos 2 pi F0 T. Since FC minus FL is equal to F0, so we have replaced that term with F0. Let us call this as equation number 5. If we apply Fourier transform on both sides of the equation 5, we can write it as V2 of F is equal to AC by 4 M of F minus F0 plus M of F plus F0. Let us take this as equation number 6. Now let us consider case 2 which is upward translation. So in upward translation the frequency is translated to higher frequency so which means Fc will be translated to F0 that is equal to Fc plus FL. Now the product modulator output V1 of T is passed through the band pass filter with center frequency F0 is equal to FC plus FL and bandwidth is equal to 2W. So if this signal is passed through a band pass filter with center frequency FC plus FL, so only this part of the signal will be available at the output and this part of the signal will be blocked. So we will get V2 of T is equal to AC by 2 M of T cos 2 pi 
एफ सी प्लस एफ एल टी सो वी कैन राइट अब इक्वेशन एज वी टू ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू ए सी बाई टू एम ऑफ टी कॉस टू बाई एफ नॉट टी सिंस एफ नॉट इज इक्वल टू एफ सी प्लस एफ एल सो वी हैव रिप्लेस दिस विथ एफ नॉट इन दिस इक्वेशन इफ वी टेक फॉर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन वील गेट v2 टू ऑफ एफ इज इक्वल टू ए सी बाई फोर एम ऑफ एफ माइनस एफ नॉट प्लस एम ऑफ एफ प्लस एफ नॉट सो लेट एस कॉल दिस हैज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो विच इज द इक्वेशन फॉर अपवर्ड ट्रांसलेशन so these are the frequency spectrum representation of the signals which we have obtained so this is the frequency spectrum of the message signal m of t this is the frequency spectrum of dsbs signal s of t that is obtained in equation number 2 this is the frequency spectrum of v1 of t that is obtained in equation number 4 figure d is the frequency spectrum of downward translation that is obtained in equation number 6 and figure e is frequency spectrum of upward translation that is obtained in equation number 7 so as you can see here this is the actual dsbs signal so the frequency of the dsbs signal is translated to a lower frequency as shown in figure d and also these frequencies are shifted to higher frequencies so this process is known as the frequency translation this is about frequency translation i hope you have understood the topic thank you